<laughs> Do you have any qualms whatsoever about returning in the Starliner yourself? Um, why or why not? You know, Marsha, you know, we've, we've been through a lot of simulations for this spacecraft to, you know, go through all sorts of iterations of failures. And I think where we are right now and what we know right now and how the spacecraft flew as it was coming in to do the docking, as Butch described, um, I, I feel confident that if we had to, if there was a problem with the International Space Station, we can get in our spacecraft and we can undock, talk to our team, and figure out the best way to come home. Um, yeah, we've, like I said, we've practiced a lot, so I have a feeling, I have a, a real good feeling in my heart that uh, this spacecraft will, br will bring us home, no problem. Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore, who have already been trapped on the International Space Station for more than two months, may not come back to Earth until February 2025, at least that's what the mainstream media want us to believe. The U.S. Space Agency reviewed a contingency plan that would launch a two-person crew on SpaceX, Crew 9 mission on September, but still wouldn't bring the crew home until months later. To me, I believe this is just an ad, to be honest. Yes, I believe it's an ad for SpaceX. Just like Cybertruck, um, the celebrities were all using Cybertruck. To me, I believe it's just an ad so that people would know about SpaceX. They are trying to use this one to, you know, bring it to the limelight to people so that people who actually care about the story would know that oh spacex is what will bring them back home to me it's just an ad what do you guys think because every news station is saying the same thing so if every news station is saying the same thing is no longer news is advertisement